Several features, user settings, and information about your vehicle can be obtained from the LCD cluster display located in the center portion of the instrument cluster. You can toggle through the menu selections in the LCD cluster display by using the control buttons on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. The menu mode button is used to change the top menu modes. The up-down button is used to switch between menu selections. The OK button is used to select the desired setting or to enable or disable features. Depending on the trim level of your vehicle, several display menus are available within the LCD cluster display. The Drive Info menu includes information such as trip odometer, average fuel economy, accumulated mileage odometer, and a digital speedometer. The Compass Turn-by-Turn -turn menu displays information when a destination is programmed into your navigation system and displays a digital compass when the system is not being used for an intended destination. The Drive Assist menu displays the state of driving assist features such as Lane Keep Assist, Driver Attention Warning, and Individual Tire Pressure Monitoring System. The User Settings menu provides access to user options for a variety of settings including door lock, unlock features, lights and sound features, and a few convenience features. Scroll through the User Settings menu to enable or disable the following features if equipped. Wireless Charging Wiper Lights Display auto rear wiper operation, gear position pop-up display, and icy road warning indicator. Additional information for each of these features may be found in your vehicle's owner's manual. For models equipped with our in-car navigation systems, here's a brief overview to get you familiar with the system and its features. From the home screen, press the map or the nav hard key to enter the navigation portion of the multimedia system. On the map screen, use the place button to search for an address or a point of interest, POI. Tap the compass icon to change the map view. Tap the plus or minus icons to zoom in or out. The quick menu icon provides additional destination selection options. While on an active route, the cancel icon appears at the bottom of the map screen. Tap the cancel icon to end cancel the active route. Use the address button to manually enter an address. The previous destinations button quickly recalls recent entries. The local search button uses an off-board database to locate the desired point of interest. The POI, or point of interest button, helps you find places using common points of interest categories. As always, consult your manual for more navigation system details. First, connect your phone to the car using Bluetooth. Once connected, while driving, you can use features on your phone hands-free by using voice commands. For Android phones, use OK Google, but make sure this function is enabled on your phone. OK Google, call mom. For iPhones, try using commands starting with Hey Siri, but make sure this function is enabled on your phone. For best user experience, set your phone in the center stack. The steering wheel incorporates audio control buttons on the left-hand side of the steering wheel. Press the Mode button to change the audio source. If it is a long press, held for more than 0.8 seconds, it will function as the Radio Off button. To turn the radio back on, simply press the Mode button again. The Seek preset buttons have different functions based on the audio mode and how long you press the button. In Radio Mode, it will cycle through the preset stations. If it is a long press, held for more than 0.8 seconds, it will function as the Auto Seek Select button until released. In CD, USB, and iPod mode, it will function as Track Up-Down button. If it is a long press, held for more than 0.8 seconds, it will fast forward or rewind in the track until released. You can also adjust the volume by pressing up or down on the volume button. To turn off all audio and the microphone during a phone call, push down on the volume button to mute the sound. The air intake control buttons regulate the airflow in your Hyundai. When the recirculated air option is selected, the air inside the car is recycled through the vents. When the indicator light is off, that is called fresh mode. That means fresh outside air is coming into the cabin. Note about floor mode. The Air Flow Mode Selection button controls the direction of the airflow through the HVAC system. When the Floor Level Mode is selected, most of the airflow is directed to the floor, with a small amount of air being directed to the windshield and side window defrosters. 
To get better airflow to the rear seats, adjust the front vents so the air flows around the two front passenger seats. You may also want to try the bi-level airflow mode, which directs air towards the face and feet, because the rear passengers have a floor-level vent coming from under the front seats. All of these functions are automatically controlled by using the auto feature, if equipped. You can do this by adjusting the temperature to a comfortable setting and then press auto. You can adjust the opening height setting of your Hyundai's power liftgate by following these instructions. First, position the liftgate manually to the height you prefer. Next, press and hold the liftgate button until you hear two beeps, indicating that the new opening height has been set. Now close the liftgate, and the next time, it will open to the height that has been stored into memory. Once you understand the controls, adjusting the position of the front bucket seats for your comfort is easy. Push the forwardmost control forward or backward to move the seat to the desired position. Using that same control, you can raise or lower the height of the seat cushion. Use the middle control to adjust the seat back angle. On the driver's seat, there is an additional two-way lumbar support control. Use that control to adjust the lumbar lower back support to the level that is most comfortable for you. On cars with manual seat adjustments, there are four ways to adjust the seat position. The lever underneath the front of the seat will let you move the entire seat forward and backwards. Pull up on the lever to slide the seat and release the lever to lock it in place. The long lever on the side will adjust the seat height. Push down on the lever several times to lower the seat cushion. Pull up several times to raise it. The short lever on the side will adjust the seat back angle. Lift up on the lever and lean forward or backward to the desired seat back angle. Release the lever to lock it in place. The front headrest can also be adjusted. Pull up on the headrest to raise it. Press the locking button at the base of the headrest and push the headrest down to lower it. Your vehicle is equipped with a tire pressure monitoring system that is designed to display the air pressure of each tire while driving. The sensors will start to display the individual pressures within a few minutes of driving. The tire pressure monitoring system allows you to see the correct tire pressure and also warns you if the pressure gets too low. When the system detects that one or more of the tire's air pressure is low, the tire pressure indicator will come on and the display will indicate which tire or tires need more air pressure. Here are a few tips to maintain your vehicle's tires and air pressure. Monitor your tire pressure periodically, once a week for example, by viewing the tire pressure monitoring system display in the instrument cluster after driving your vehicle for a short distance. Please be aware that tires naturally can lose 1 to 2 PSI per month, especially if your vehicle is not driven regularly. Note also that tire pressures can fluctuate with temperature, so that it is always best to check the tire pressures after you first start driving your vehicle. Check to make sure your tires are inflated according to the information placard located on the driver's side door jam on your vehicle. On some Hyundai vehicles, the trunk button on the key fob unlocks the trunk but does not necessarily open it. To open the trunk, press the button located on the trunk door. You have a few choices when it comes to opening the trunk of your Hyundai. For the first option, press and hold the trunk door icon on the key fob to unlock the trunk door will open. The second option is to press the button located on the trunk door to open. If your Hyundai comes equipped with hands-free smart trunk with auto open, the smart trunk opens automatically when it senses the proximity key is within three feet behind the vehicle for more than three seconds. In the US, there are three popular types of chargers. Level one household chargers, which are the slowest, level 2 chargers, and then the fastest, which are DC fast chargers. When you open your fuel door, you'll notice that you'll need to remove the top cover for level 1 and 2 chargers. For DC fast chargers, you'll need to remove the lower charger cover as well. To find your nearest DC fast charger, use the built-in dash interface and sort by level, or you can use the appropriate app on your smartphone. 